Good morning. How are you guys? Um, today is Monday, zone one. I'm going to get right to my house garden right away. I only got like an hour and a half before I got to get ready and go take the dogs to the vet. So just for annual checkups, nothing's wrong with Buddy. So anyhow, yep, here it is. I'm going to set you guys up and we're going to go for it. Okay, well, as you can see, I'm sweating. This is the summer like sixth. And I, wow, I watched the forecast last night. We are actually gonna be in the 80s every day this week. So I need to get out of these heavier clothes and uh, start thinking about lighter material and uh, shorts. <laughs> but anyhow, let me tell you exactly what I did real quick. So as you could see, originally I just run the tiller between every row. The best I could, what I didn't, I used a triangular spade to get between things. Um, in particular, this row was kind of, I didn't want to chance it down here with getting a tiller in there and then ruining those beautiful uh, bok choy leaves. So uh, I did the, the little hoe, triangular hoe in here. And then uh, in between each and every one of these, not each and every one, I mean, look, I missed, okay, but I'm just trying to get the majority. So like here had a lot, right? And I have a double there. And so like it picks up stuff like this, which is great. It'll die, it'll decompose in here. Here you go, here's a bunch more. It'll die, it'll die. Um, this is actually a baby cauliflower. Yeah, and that's, all this is loose. So actually I might throw it over there, see if the chickens go for it. Uh, so it's not a perfect world. I mean, I don't try to achieve that, you know, like not a single weed in here, but I just try to keep it knocked back into these leaves grow so big that they pretty much will touch one another. This, you know, I don't know, by January, everything will be touching and producing and, you know, having its little um, vegetables. So let's go through that real quick. So this is parsley. Uh, I lost a lot of uh, Swiss chard. So the Swiss chard is majority, the majority of it is up front. I have a couple that were left that weren't hit. My dog likes to turn right in here for the chicken coop and he likes to lay down right back there. So I have decided until this coop is gone, um, I'm just gonna stop fighting that issue and let it be bare. I have plenty enough space in other parts of the other gardens. So this is a row of snow crown cauliflower and I hope that's it because I also had snowball at one time but I think this year's is snow crown um, then I have a nice mixture in here you can see the different types of leaves so I have like a dead on cabbage right here I have a uh, early uh, girl early golden acre I have you know what this I it's supposed to be cabbage and I'm thinking this might be broccoli and I don't know you know, sometimes seeds drop when you're putting them into trays. Perhaps that was not a cabbage. This is red acre cabbage. This is more early golden. This looks like a dead on. This could be some red acre. So they're supposed to alternate all the way down just so we can have a pretty visual of all the different types when they become mature and ready to pick. 
Over here is Godzilla broccoli. And um, I've had to re-sow and re-sow multiple times. If you didn't know that, if you're kind of new, uh, this has been uh, such a challenging garden this season. Um, so down here, you'll see three that just don't fit in with the rest. Those are red acre cabbage. Uh, because I'm actually out of Godzilla broccoli and I haven't reordered anymore, but I have uh, started Calabrese broccoli seeds. So until me and my friends put an order together, you know, there's no sense in letting space like this go to waste. I will just, I have enough broccoli, you know, just for the, the, the fall slash starting winter. And then I will make a big push with more broccoli um, for the spring. Hold on a second. I got sweat is dripping down my eyes and burning them. Um, this is my Thai basil. And as you can see, it's starting a little pretty little head there. I'll probably have to pick it. I want it to bunch. I don't want it to go to seed yet. Um, this is my different celeries. I keep the cage here because they were just little a couple weeks ago and Buddy was stepping on them. So I have tender crisp on that side. I have um, golden self blanching on this side. That's new for me. I have done tender crisp and I have done tango celery. I've done pink celery, which I did not prefer. And white celery was better. White Chinese celery, sorry, I should say that. Um, back here I have Jade Cross. So this was another row that took a lot of damage from the rats coming and going. And it, um, most of you know this, but this shed is coming down this winter. So um, this is like some of the first sowing. And then this is some of the last sowing. And oh well, it is what it is, right? We just keep filling in the plugs. I have drip irrigation in here. This year, this is new. We just put this... We, I just put this in in August because I had a mix match and it wasn't working well and I had a lot of plugging up of um, the little holes on them and so uh, it was just time to restart all that. Uh, I didn't like the original irrigation system that I had. Um, it never was fantastic. So I, it, it was a mix of really huge tube and little tube and I had different amounts and I thought that was great when I started, but then I was very disappointed in that. Uh, I should have been consistent in my watering over here. So I, all these lines, um, this came in from the Haas um, irrigation drip line kit and um, it's like eight millimeters and I have a, um, whatever you call it, an opening every 12 inches or a foot. This is, um, oh, I forgot which one they are, but they're ever, I think they're evergreen bunching onions and they are monsters. They're doing so good. I have a couple large onions here on the end, but um, I think they begin from like here over. I think they were 10, 50, 15 wise. And then I have my parsley. Sorry, I'm in my own shadow there. I The sun's starting to come up over the, trees and over the house and my big monster black beauty eggplant oh and i keep going over these guys as if they don't even matter because uh, they're out of season so these are cherry pick hybrid peppers and i do pickle them and i use them for salads do you see that aren't they pretty and i'm sorry i keep going over them like they're not even important but they're here they're here to overwinter if they make it, if they don't, I have some in the other garden. We can always start some more. Look at that one. That one looks so good. This one's turning. See, look, look at the, we had a heavy fog this morning. It's created a lot of moisture on the plants. Here's a pak choy, no bok choy, sorry. This is Shanghai, Shanghai green bok choy. Uh oh, this one suffered a step on. I might as well just pull that one and have it for myself for lunch. And Anyhow, these are doing really good. They have a little bit of bug pressure. And I know most people probably wouldn't have that, but this is Florida. And like I said, we're in the 80s. Okay, you guys, so that's it. We're gonna call the video end here. This is a zone one. Although I do other parts of zone one, um, they don't really need any maintenance. Uh, nothing with the Barbados cherry tree, nothing with the dwarf Cavendish ban bananas. Uh, and sometimes I just, just trim up the hedge around the walkway and that's about it, sweep and whatever. Uh, I do Lulu's bunny cage because she's in zone one. Um, but that's, you don't need to see that. 
So anyhow, this is the most important part of my uh, morning and uh, I got to get over to the vets. So you guys take care. God bless. And I will see you again real soon.